This is a chicken behind the fence, and we don't like that. So let's remove the chick the fence. Sorry. I downloaded this image from Envato Elements. You can find the link in the description. And to remove a fence, you'll need some tools, obviously. In this case, the remove tool in Photoshop might be helpful. I've already done a video about the remove tool. Link is in the description. So let's activate it. You can find it right there in the toolbar. Create a new layer in the layers panel. That way we'll be working non-destructively. And then up here in the options bar, make sure sample all layers is checked because we're actually sampling from the layer below. Also, go ahead and uncheck remove after each stroke we don't want that to happen now you can increase or decrease the brush size using the right and left square bracket keys on your keyboard just make sure it's a little bit larger than the fence itself and then start painting over it paint over all the parts of the fence just like that sometimes if you paint over multiple parts at once this may happen the remove tool fills in everything inside this area. You can then hold down the Alt or Option key to erase it. Or to avoid all that, simply release the mouse after each stroke. So one and release, two and release, three and release. Another tip is you can click once, move the cursor, hold down Shift and then click once again to create a straight line. Click, move and then Shift click. When you're done, you should end up with something like that. All you have to do now is click this button to confirm. Wait for it to process. And done. The fence has been completely removed and the chicken is now free. <coughs> and if you see some weird areas, like this area for example, you can either use the remove tool again to clean it up or remember this is all happening on a separate layer. So you can always create a mask and hide certain areas of the layer and maybe clean them up using other tools like the clone stamp tool. That's it, see you next time. <laughs>